Okay, so today's Grow It Green, we're talking about people who love to have plants inside, but maybe they're not so great at taking care of the plants. In fact, they might have killed some in the past. Uh, Margaret Hagen from the UNH Cooperative Extension is here to tell us how we can take care of these plants. Yeah. So these are eight plants that I think just about anybody can grow. And you'll notice that Africa, African violet is noticeably absent. Okay. Because even though they tell you it's really easy to grow, I know a lot of people who've killed them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we won't name any names here, though. Yeah. Okay. So probably the easiest group of plants to grow are the cacti and succulents. I don't have any cacti with me, but everybody knows that they have spines usually. I'm with the cactus. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. This is a jade plant. These are really easy to grow. And any of the Christmas cactus or Easter cactus are always really easy to grow. Okay, that's good to know. And as a group, the cacti and succulents will tolerate um, a little bit of cold temperatures. The only thing they need is high light. High light, okay. And if you forget to water them for three weeks, no worries. No kidding, okay. Yeah. Light is important. Cause light is see. important. Okay. You want to give the plant the environment that it came from, if you yep. can. So then if you're looking for medium light, maybe partial shade, um, you can grow things like this pothos. Pothos, Or very philodendron, okay. which look very similar. Um, Snake plants or mother-in-law's tongue are really easy to do. <laughs> I know. Are you making I don't know. up as no, you go? No, no I right. have no idea where that name came from. I'm, I'm exonerated. All right, but that um, was medium light there. Okay. Right, and then a third one that's really easy to grow is the ZZ plant. And all of these, like medium light to possibly low light. Medium light. Yeah. So the ZZ is easy. The okay. ZZ is easy. Okay. And all three of these, if you don't water them for a while, will be fine. Okay. That's good enough. Another plant that likes medium to low light is the one everybody has by their kitchen sink, the uh, spider plant. Sure, spider plant. Yeah. Um, and this is the only one that, if you let it dry out totally, the tips of the leaves are going to get brown. So this one you need to water a little bit more often, maybe once every 10 days. And a little more care for that one, the right. spider plant. And this one over here? And this one, if you have a really dark apartment, <laughs> it will grow in really, really low light. No kidding. Um, it's called the it peace lily. The peace lily. It's beautiful. Right. And it has these unusual flowers um, with the spadix and the white spade. Wow. This one, if you forget to water it, will go limp. Uh, so it will tell you. It will remind you. It will yeah, water me. You. Okay, I've got about 30 seconds. Uh, yes. But temperature is also important because some places right. get cold, some get hot. For people who have a really drafty house, as I said, the cacti and succulents will do well in cold. The snake plant will be okay. Um, the pothos will be okay. There are a couple that don't really like it um, super cold, and so if you have a, a house that runs below 60 degrees on a consistent basis, oh, okay. I would probably not grow the ZZ or the Peace Lily. Okay, good to know. All right, Margaret Hagen, any more questions you have about this, you can head over to the UNH Cooperative Extension. Thank you very much. That does it for us.